On February 10, 2024, reports emerged indicating a significant development. U.S. Special Forces troops would be stationed in Taiwan on a permanent basis for the first time, departing from previous temporary or rotational arrangements. This move directly challenges China's One China policy, which expects the U.S. to recognize Beijing as the sole legitimate government encompassing Taiwan. Sources within Taiwan revealed that the 1st Special Forces Group is now permanently stationed this year at two bases alongside the 101st Amphibious Reconnaissance Battalion, a specialized unit within the Taiwanese Army. Some of these American forces are positioned on Kinmen, a set of fortified islands under Taiwanese control located nearly 10 kilometers from the Chinese city of Xiamen. Another contingent is stationed on the Pescadores Islands, situated off the coast of Taiwan within the Taiwan Strait. While the primary mission of U.S. troops is ostensibly to train Taiwanese forces, their strategic positioning also enables intelligence gathering on movements within the Taiwan Strait and along the Chinese coast, particularly around Xiamen, which houses significant naval and air force bases. Additionally, American troops are involved in operations at a military base in Taiwan, northern Taiwan, focusing on drone training for the Airborne Special Service Company, an elite unit within the Taiwanese military. Both Washington and Taipei have been tight-lipped about specifics regarding the number of U.S. trainers or the nature of the training provided. It wasn't until 2021 that Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen officially acknowledged the presence of American special forces in Taiwan for training purposes. Initially, the U.S. Defense Department confirmed the presence of 30 American soldiers solely to guard the American Institute in Taiwan, serving as an unofficial embassy in Taipei. Taiwan's defense minister, Chu Kuo Cheng, has emphasized that American instructors have collaborated with Taiwanese forces under various administrations, refraining from characterizing the deployment as a permanent U.S. military presence on the island. Following the establishment of diplomatic ties with Beijing in 1979, Washington closed its embassy in Taipei, severing formal diplomatic relations and maintaining only informal contact. Despite continuing arms sales, the U.S. terminated its long-standing military agreement with Taiwan and withdrew all military forces. Under both the Trump and Biden administrations, there has been an uptick in arms sales to Taiwan, including offensive weaponry, alongside the deployment of American trainers. The Biden administration welcomed the recent election of Lai ching Te, a pro-independence candidate from the Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, as Taiwanese president. Furthermore, a Taiwanese military delegation was slated to undergo training with the Michigan National Guard in the U.S., including participation in annual exercises involving multiple countries at Camp Grayling in northern Michigan.